Okay, what I've got here is called the Rockinger Black Box. And this is all written in German. But this is basically the, the doodad. And it allows some return action there. So I've already taken the screws out of the back plate. What I've got here is a Harley Benton Stratocaster. And this will go down in there like that and with slight pressure against the trim block. And we're going to go ahead and get this installed on here. So hold on. Okay, so what we got is this little spring mechanism that will let you pull up on the whammy bar once this is against the trim block. Now, I've backed this bushing out just far enough to get to that screw hole right there. And there's a screw hole down here. There's just enough room to get to that one. And I'm going to take that. And I'm going to set it in here and just eyeball it up straight with the string. Or I mean the spring, the trim spring. And I'm going to take the drill. And I'm going to center it down in there. And just make a reference hole. Get this straight. Moved it. Have to find this hole again. Okay, I guess I have to hold it. Okay. I didn't like that at all because it went straight into the pickup cavity. So now. might have to try it up here. Same deal. Let's see what happens. And I've got two little screws. Here's the tricky part. Get the other screw in here. Gonna be difficult. Hold on. Okay, I've pulled a spring out. Try and get my hand down in here. Get that lined up with the hole. And I just barely enough room there. Even though this front screw went into the pickup cavity, it did tighten. So now I'll put the spring back on. And as you see, you can pull up but you want this to return every time to the same place.
So that's it. Let you pull up on it. That's pretty cool. Now there's another little doodad in the bag that I think I'm going to use. Which means I'll have to retune the guitar. This little rubber pad that goes right here. Do this without losing it. Sticky to stick. And there it is, the Rockinger black box installed in the Harley Benton strap so that that whammy bar returns the same place every time and stops there it's just like a trim block it's a little bit adjustable Screws super loose. There's one that looks exceptionally loose. Pretty nice little feature. The Rockinger Black Box. Let's see if I have another trim spring available. What? That tink you hear, that's the springs moving. It doesn't always do it. Okay, I'm in tune. Push down. Pull up. This guitar had an issue with the tremolo arm, the bridge. When I would push down on it, it would not come back to the same place all the time. There's only three springs on it. This stiffened it up a lot. And I would lose that G string almost every time. I could usually fiddle with a bar a little bit and get it back. And it also had an issue with if you bent a string. Because of the floating bridge, it would move and not return. Now it's basically blocked, but it's got that spring action in it that you can pull up. It's pretty 
damn mechanical now. It, it returns right back to that spot. <laughs> can't expect any more out of a traditional strat style trim than that really come on <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Eric C. sent that to me, so I decided to throw it into the Harley Benton because I was going to put it in my Mexico strap, but I don't have a problem with that tremolo on that guitar anyway. <laughs> Springs clink a little bit now and then. I had to fix that too if I had the stuff. So just for giggles, I've got a tuner on the back here, a hidden tuner. Right in the middle of doing this, you might have, it might be in the video, you see Linda walk in and say, we have a problem. We're having a terrible windstorm right now, and it just started to rain. And uh, it blew at an eight-foot section of a stockade fence over. And that's what keeps our dogs in the yard. And I had to go out and install some metal fence that I had in the garage and... and put that up to keep the dogs in but man the wind is just brutal and I hope it stops before I have to go play tonight <laughs> Thank you. 
That's crunchy. <laughs> Well, the Rockinger Black Box, I'm I'm satisfied with it. I like it. I'm glad I put it on this guitar. So, All right. Hey, thanks for all the new subs and the new views and everything. I hope you're enjoying the stuff. Uh, hang around. Thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you don't. So that's it for this uh, Rockinger Black Box. Out with the old and with the new. Until next time, hang in there.